um, the first thing, I think the first thing, like, I turned around and I looked at him, I was like, holy fucking shit. <laughs> holy I think shit. I actually said that. And I'm just, like, such a bogey shit. Like, yeah. there's so much more. The weather cold, the weather so chill, chilly, willy, penguin, feather rope. Welcome to another episode of the CG Show. With me here today, Danielle Weber, a full-time artist. Your work has extended to some huge names, some TV personalities, movie stars, sports stars, business personalities, a bit of everything. We'll drop, we'll drop names a bit. We got The Rock. We got Arnie, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Tim Cahill. I saw you did some work with uh, Eddie's Do You Even, which is really cool. And I'm sure there's millions of others. But the thing that's intrigued me most about you is that you've been able to turn art, who a lot of people that do it, it's just a hobby for them, into a full-time job. It's, it's your passion. You absolutely love it. And I came across you probably six years ago. And it was when you took he a photo. He was there from the start. Like, that's dedication. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I remember haul. I was just, I, I think it was a Sunday and it just popped up a photo with you and The Rock. And I was like, wow, that is extremely cool. So I'm sure we're going to touch on that. But welcome. Thank you so Thank much you. for being here. Thanks for having me. And We've let's had like a whole podcast before we've yeah. even gotten on the podcast. So like, <laughs> I can just leave now. I'm yeah. good. <laughs> we've had such a big conversation before. Yeah. And that's why I'm actually excited because there's, there's so many crazy things that we are going to touch on and um nfts for me is going to be huge but we'll, we'll get there we'll get there but let's just start with yourself danielle like give me a bit of an origin story about yourself yeah cool uh, thanks again for having me i appreciate being here um well i'm an artist full-time artist um uh, born and bred in melbourne i sort of um started on canvases and then ev- like i guess evolved as a business and as an artist and now i'm doing massive murals um i have a sip and paint business i've got a print business i've got my murals i've got my canvases so i've got a few little my hands in a few little pots <laughs> probably too many yeah. um but yeah that's 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 the rundown do really. you have a little hat like you know those art hats <laughs> where you just paint no no you know what's We're funny i was, you one, I was like doing a, an art festival <laughs> and i saw one in target and it was like reduced to like three dollars i'm like this is the coolest thing ever lasted for a day and then i lost it. Yeah, so it's like, just oh, like anything this, just that yeah. anything of like value that has to be attached like, yeah, you're like if it's nah. not like strapped to me yeah. I lose it so yeah so watch out for your hat yeah. I, might, I might acquire that <laughs> and yeah. it's it's even funny as well like I, I, sh- I probably should have given you a bit of an introduction of you being a muralist I'm sorry about that no I, that's I, okay I, I saw a crazy one of the one you did in Geelong of Jay-Z and Beyonce yeah man that was insane that was cool that was a while ago now too hey that's probably five four or five years ago so okay, well. feels like yesterday but yeah it's like sort of blurred it's just yeah like, things are just, just flying you just like slam so much yeah. into one year it's just like what year yeah. was that was that like 1992 when yeah. i was born or yeah we're just so. checking what we went through last year like covid was just one big blob that you don't even know what was going on but yeah. what'd you say to me you're like oh how'd you go in covid I'm yeah like, I think covid was the year that you realized that no one gives a fuck about you yeah. and you either like keep chugging along forward yeah. or you sit at home and cry like what do you want to do? Yeah, so. And I'm sure during that year you went hard and we yeah. will we will yeah. definitely touch on that. But yeah. like, how did you become an artist? Like, how did it just all come about? Yeah, so I guess um, we were fortunate, like in our era, we didn't really have a lot of technology around us. Super fortunate now to have access to it. But um, back then, you know, it was hands-on. Like, it was drawing, it was making pizzas, it was playing with Play-Doh. So, yeah, as a kid, that's all I did. I drew, um, watched my brother, just copied things, and it really started from probably like two, three years old, uh, just drawing and drawing on walls probably, drawing, <laughs> just destroying things, so a little menace. And then, yeah, as I got older, like, it's really what I turned to, I guess, um, eight, nine, nine years old I started painting, and then in my early teens I went through a little bit of a – rough stage in terms of like hanging around with the wrong people and sort of found myself back painting again so yeah whether it was an outlet or not not sure but um definitely something that sort of popped up in times in my life and yeah now I do it all day every day yeah how long have you been (laughs) doing it all day every day for yeah so um I finished school and um I was sort of doing a few subjects at school that kept me painting as well and I was going to, I wanted to be a food scientist. So I was like, oh, I'm going to study health sciences. And my parents, bless them, encouraged me to pursue art, visual art. Hated it. My teachers wanted to kill me. But if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have kept painting. It probably would have been something that, you know, like other things in life. You're like, oh, I remember I did that when I was four years old. You <laughs> yeah. just leave it. So, yeah, so it kept me painting. And then, yeah, so I guess from 18, so the last 10 years has really been like a consistent like yeah journey i guess so 10 years consistent of hard work that's crazy like yeah. i'm i'm extremely like 
surprised that your parents told you to chase your passion because generally it's the other way around. Yeah. It's yeah. It's the parents saying, no, you've got to go no, to no, uni yeah. and you can't do this. So yeah. your parents are amazing. That That's actually oh, insane. Kudos to them. And they still help me and, you know, they're like my biggest fans, like, so it's yeah. it's it's been it's been consistent the whole way through. They're amazing, and I do owe it to them because I definitely I was just like, no, you're not going to make a living out of being an artist. Of course, I've been told that. Sort of went to an academic school, and uh, yeah, it was just something that I didn't think was possible, nor did I want to entertain for that reason. So okay, so it was more that you didn't really want to entertain it because you just didn't think that you were able to pursue it. And then what what kind of changed? Like how did it just all of a sudden you were just like, oh well, then yeah, well, maybe we can do this. Maybe yeah. my parents are actually. Right. Yeah, maybe they're We're right. Jeez. Like they're always Parents wrong. Always are right. <laughs> <laughs> this right. Don't listen to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they always are though. Yeah. It's funny. Like it, it's way, oh. yeah. but yeah. It, anyways, no. So like I did go to university. Um, as much as I didn't really attend a lot, yeah. I did go and I submitted. You know, some pieces that I'm still proud of. And I guess some people from school were like, "What the hell? Like, where's this come from? Like, we never even knew you could paint." Um, but I had a few people ask for pieces pop that on Facebook and then everyone's like, hey, can you paint this? And someone was like, hey, can you paint this? So I was basically just painting for people and I was just giving away for free. I was working two jobs, studying full time, giving away my paintings for free. And then it got to a point where I was like, okay, I'm really, really busy. Uh, Maybe I should start charging like 40 or 50 bucks for my pieces. And yeah, it's something that just evolved. So I didn't, I never really took that leap, but um, I made sure that I had, you know, that when I did stop my other work that I had enough income to sort of make sure I wasn't resenting it, that I was like, I'm not making any money yeah. off this. So <laughs> I didn't make that stupid, like, don't just do it. Like jump, like you'll be fine. You don't need to eat, like not practical. So yeah. So I made sure that I was like, okay, let, we're ready. All right. We're good now. That's so, funny. And yeah. did you enjoy what you were doing at university? Like, did you think that you were going to become a what food scientist? Um, do you know what's so funny? I hated studying art yeah. and I loved science. Like I'd be in the labs and I'm like, I'm blowing no, shit up no with a bunch of yeah. Excuse my French, <laughs> what I'm doing, but this is great. Like yeah. I'm just making things. Yeah. So, um, and look, I, I finished like, not that this means anything in the day to day life, life, but yeah, um, I finished both my degrees with like distinction average considering oh, wow. I didn't go, I did. Okay. And considering I was like, never one that was like, I want to go to university. Mm-hmm. I sort of just did it cause it was there and I did okay at school. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Oh, let's just see how I go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's good. And I'm proud of that. Like I think Bloody all of education's education's valuable, especially as a female. So, um, and you know, maybe, you know, maybe I don't use my degrees directly, but I think those skills that you acquire are no doubt like just super valuable, and I do use them indirectly every now and then. Yeah, so, bloody yeah. earth! I think everything that you, everything that you do, you end up using it, or if whatever you whatever path you went down, you learnt whatever you learnt there, you use it. in... hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, That's so why I always say to people like, oh, like you know, it's a university it was a waste of time. I'm like, well, it wasn't. You've got that there. You know, you never know. I might want to be a food scientist in ten years. I can, I can fall back on that. Yeah, At bloody least I know that. I'm interested in I've yeah. tried it so <laughs> I'm not think, good at it but I tried it do you think you're gonna be a food scientist <laughs> who knows yeah. I don't know technology's <laughs> doing funny things these days so. oh I reckon yeah. man I reckon you've got a big career ahead of you and oh. uh, just because the because the internet's changing everything. I know, exactly. Yeah, I can't so. wait to touch on that. It's like, yeah. uh, but we're going to get into all this stuff first. Okay, but I, yeah. Then we're going to go into we're all really that. But, yeah, <laughs> I am. I'm like, let's just get to the end. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, but wh- why do you paint? Like how, and it's, it's funny. I was speaking, so my partner's, like, sorry, my good mate's partner during COVID is like, oh, she's, she started painting yeah. and she loves it. Yeah. And she told me that, when she paints, she does it. She doesn't think of anything. Like there's nothing actually going through her head, and it's just it's like a it soothes her. Like it's like a how can I say it? What's the word? You lose like track of time. You sort of yeah. Just she like, completely loses yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it used to be like that for me, like through and through, no doubt. I think now I've got a lot going on in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very hard to like, even when I read a book or listen to an audio book, yeah. an hour will play and I'm like, I didn't listen to any of that. Yeah. Like, like what did I just listen to? Like that was playing and I actually didn't hear any words. Like, and I thought I was listening, but it wasn't. So, but yeah, definitely. It is still therapeutic. Like I'll still like do a bit and I'm like, oh my God, that's amazing. Like, that's, and it's just, yeah. And, and watching other yourself. people, like, watching... <laughs> Yeah, it's so, it's funny what art can do. So I totally get that. And it used to be like that. I used to, you know, I used to 
look at the time and it was seven o'clock in the morning. I'd painted for like 16 hours in my studio. And my family would be it's like, crazy. are you going to sleep? Or are you, you getting up? And I'm like, yeah. oh no, I haven't yeah. slept. Like, <laughs> Your hair's hello. like flying Yeah, away. I'm just like, look like yeah. a washed up like artist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, it's definitely a thing. Definitely a thing. Especially if you've got tunes going. I still get like that every now and then, but not all the time. So. And then like, why, like, what do you feel? Like how, what's going through your head? Are you just like crazy like thoughts like what's going on it's um <laughs> crazy you know art thoughts you know what's really funny i just sort of describe it as like a roller coaster because you could be like you know like it's it's like when i started mural i'm like oh killing it killing it. i'm like hate this hate this this is shit this is shit this is great this is great oh my god you're amazing why are you an artist you shouldn't be an artist and then i finish it. i'm like that's yeah. sick so it's just like i just call it a roller coaster yeah. maybe i'm more nuts than other people yeah. i don't know but um but yeah. when i'm doing like pieces that you know, maybe there's not as much pressure and whatnot. Yeah, I'll just enjoy it and try not to overthink it. And yeah, and, and generally, you I just, don't know, time just flies and you're just like, oh. You know when you drive somewhere and yeah, you get there, you're like, I don't Yeah, know. you're like, what? Yeah. I don't remember that whole drive. I don't like turn left and yeah, right. Like, it's like yeah. autopilot mode. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that. Well, yeah. they, don't they say like artists are wacky? Like, well, there's some, like, I think it was Van Gogh. He was nuts. and oh, all like, of those geniuses were nuts. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know what? Well, I, I say this a lot and I've probably said it before in my podcast. I'm I'm wacky, but um I'm not I'm not like next level creative genius. Like I, I'm I'm not that I don't see myself as that creative. Everyone's like, what are you talking about? Like I can paint really well because I've trained myself and I've worked really, really, really hard. But in terms of like the most creative artists and the most creative geniusness, is yeah. that even a word? <laughs> I won't put myself in that category. I'm, I'm kind of grateful for it because I feel like my brain already doesn't switch off. I don't know how I would cope if I was in that next <laughs> yeah, level. Yeah. Um, Cause sometimes I'm just like, yeah, like, yeah. And that's, and, and then this is another can of worms. I think that's why a lot of creatives resort to like um, alcohol and drugs and whatnot to numb or to like, to, I don't know whether it, I don't use anything, but whether or not, yeah. Yeah, that helps. Cause I totally get it. Like your brain just does not stop. Yeah. So is it, I don't know. Like, do you feel? Do you feel like, like when you got into painting or whatever? Like, we well, this I'm not too sure. Like, were you like run, not running away from life, but like, would it kind of put you in a different dimension or, or something like that? I think when I first got into painting, it was an outlet because I was. Um, I think I had my own demons that I hadn't dealt with, and I guess just like locking yourself up in your studio for that many hours just painting was was a little bit of a like okay let's run away from the real world and just yeah. paint all the time yeah uh I think now um it's like a discipline for me more so like it's, it's sort of shifted purpose for me as well and more it's, now it's more like um inspiring other people to to get to like use it as that therapy if you need to or, or like use it as your outlet or inspire them to perhaps take a different path in life so yeah it's sort of shifted over the years like everything does really yeah that's, yeah that's getting deep now <laughs> yeah no, i like it man. straight in yeah i, I like it honestly yeah. man, as far as as far as we can go it's good fun because yeah. i think uh, you know there's a lot of people that will listen to this that you know they it might not be it might not be art it might not be art they could be i don't know they're they're an aspiring dj or yeah. They're, they're anything. I feel, I feel like, would you, does it all go in the same sort of category? Totally. It's all relevant. And I think, um, you know, I just mentioned discipline, discipline, whether it's that discipline or whether it's, um, you know, it's your, like, because it's your passion and whatnot. Create, like, yeah, whether it is a DJ or as a musician, like, or, you know, the, uh, an actor and whatnot. It, it is a wild ride and, it, and it, it, you all have, like, similar battles and similar journeys and inconsistencies and whatnot so yeah totally all relevant and I think that's why you know I even listen to a lot of athletes podcasts I think that's relevant as well like all yeah so because I I the highs and the lows I think that's probably the, the key the key words there yeah, yeah my so my brother Stan he's a he used to be a DJ and now he's still kind of in the music game so I, I speak to a, he's still got a lot of DJ friends and they whenever I, I I've become friends with him and I talk to him. And one thing that I, I just love diving into this, well, I do this because I yeah. want to dive into yeah. what you think on this situation, especially like with, so I speak to them and they, and they tell me, Christian, like uh, for me as a real estate agent or whatever I do as a business person, whatever I do every day, like, uh, you know, I've kind of, I'm showing up and, you know, not every day is my best, but they say to me as an artist or a creative where we've, we've kind of, we have days where, 
you know, we're completely on or there's just days that we're completely off. off. Yeah. And there is no, it's just either it's working or it's just not. Is that yeah. really similar? Like- definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And I think anyone who says that it's not is perhaps, I don't know, they've figured out some insane techniques <laughs> to get through yeah. that. Um, just a special drug or something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard because like I used to be like, no, yeah. I don't feel like painting today. Yeah. But now, I guess, as you know, the, there's other pressures that I've chosen. So, that's my, that's my doing. Uh, and now, I perhaps don't have the, the choice to be off on some days. Maybe in my studio, yes. But if I've like scheduled in a mural, there's plenty of days where I'm just like, oh, I don't want to paint today. But yeah. I have to turn up and paint. Otherwise, you know, I'm disappointing. The ripple effect is more detrimental for me not turning up, at, you know, if, that, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, bloody so, oath. Yeah. So, I mean, I've learned techniques and and um ways to sort of shift my mindset and to to get to turn to switch on and to show up yeah what, so, are, you, what are you telling yourself like what's going on so you're driving there yeah. you don't want to be there like you're just you're not on today yeah. you're just not on yeah and like what are you saying to yourself are we, are we playing music what are we doing um so yeah <laughs> if i wake up pr- feeling pretty feral it'll be like okay let's start the morning off with like a gratitude <laughs> morning gratitude session to be like okay you're so lucky to be getting up and going to work <laughs> don't be feral like switch your f- bloody hormones off and and get to work sort of thing get so, in there danielle and then and I don't know, I guess it is just a pep talk. Like there's been, you know, decisions that I've been faced with in, in business and in the last, particular in the last year. And I've literally been standing in the chair. I'm like, you are so lucky that your life is exciting, that you get to make these effed up decisions, these challenging decisions. I literally just stand there and like talk to myself. It's like, what else are you going to do? So yeah, I just try to like shift yeah, that mindset yeah. and just really, yeah, I think that's the only thing you can do, especially when you're a creative, you know, you're messed up in there somewhere. Yeah. Like, you just got to play your own little games. Yeah. Like, yeah. And just figure so, it out. And then yeah. that's, yeah, that's, it's, it's interesting. And little pep talks. Yeah. I like it. All right. So yeah. we're going to, and then do we like, do we have any specific music that we're driving? Is there anything going on? Like, are we just screaming at the wheel? Like we're going to do this. Well, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? If I had to drive everywhere, I probably wouldn't make it because yeah. I hate driving. But my dad drives because he assists me with my work, so he drives yeah. me everywhere. So generally, yeah. he, you know, he's we don't really talk the whole way, but yeah. we'll just sit there and just having that like calm drive where I don't have to worry about yeah. driving is. I, by the time I get there, I'm usually okay. And then that's just like yes, yeah, and put whatever music I feel like listening to, whether it's some bangers or some yeah, some rock or some <laughs> bloody eighties tunes. I listen to everything. Whatever it is, so just I'll, if yeah. I need mu- I know when I need music, and I'm just like straight in where and then yeah that, that's correct yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. we're on <laughs> yeah and then we're on yeah and, and I'll still fluff around yeah. sometimes yeah but yeah generally I'm I'm on yeah that's all right and then even I'm I'm more curious how did you actually make this a full time job like how is this your career how 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 did how did it all happen and I know you obviously touched on that you you had a little bit of work that was coming in and then slowly yep. slowly it just transitioned but. What, like, was it just, like, word of mouth? Like, were you going heavily on – were you pushing really hard? I just see you put put it a little bit on social media, but were you doing – were you trying to hit up cafes or art galleries or were you doing all that, like, groundwork or did it just kind of, like – It kind of evolved. I should – like, the hard work was literally just me putting in the hours – but I've never really gone to places and been like, hey, let me paint. Like, or hey, I've, I, I, I'm not really that kind of person. No, it's not an ego thing, but I just feel like, and this is probably every salesperson's worst nightmare to say this, but I feel like if people want your work, they'll come to you and they'll, and when they're ready. And so even when I'm like trying to get, you know, negotiate jobs, I'm never pushy. I'm not like, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Like it's not. It's just like if you want my work, you'll come to me when you're ready and we'll do this sort of thing. So, yeah. So, I mean... It was, I guess, um, getting really busy with canvases uh, and I was just bumping up the price from there. And I guess the more demand, the, the more you can increase your prices because you literally physically cannot uh, produce as much as what, you know, your demand is. So that that sort of bumped up my prices. Uh, I obviously still find it hard to quote. It's very personal. It's something you mm. love doing. So you obviously, you're still going to face those challenges. And then I got asked to do murals and then that's where probably the better money is. And yeah. um, it's, but I guess the bigger the job, the more logistics, the more headaches, the more pressure, the more challenges. And I think I, I'm a sucker for that. I love that. So yeah, so monetizing it, uh, you know, I saw a, 
obviously we're in a great city, super creative city. Uh, a lot of businesses love to support artists and love to sort of like put cool things on their wall. So I uh, saw that need for that. And I sort of started murals about five or six years ago. And obviously it's like hot now, like everyone's getting murals done and whatnot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and I just, I guess, learned how to quote and just literally learned on site how to do murals because I was like going in yeah. blind, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely blind. But, uh, and then obviously back to demand, I couldn't keep up with how many people were asking for my pieces. So it's only one you with two hands. Like. Only two hands, yeah. can't clone it. So yeah, uh, as much as I want to. Yeah. But um, that's when I started my prints business, which is like copies of my work and people can buy that. They can get them framed, put on their walls, more cost effective means that I essentially started that so more people could have my art on their walls. And I wasn't saying no all the time. I feel yeah. I struggle with saying no. Yeah. So yeah, so that, that was that. And yeah, and it's been and now we're just flowing wild ride good on you man and what's a day in the life of danielle look like so are we i know you said you're working 16 hours and your hair's bloody everywhere <laughs> but <laughs> yeah yeah well that that journey that that part of my art journey was insane like i literally just spent every hour that i could just working spending just working my craft because yeah and i say that to people all the time like oh my god you can paint i'm like i wasn't born like this like i've literally taught it's hours it's hard work like I couldn't I couldn't I wasn't nine years old painting like <laughs> murals like I am now so yes you can be you know I, people would argue this and I'm probably yeah like I I used to start at 50 50 talent hard work now now I'm probably at like 80 20 I'd say like 20 percent talent and then 80 percent hard work so yeah so daily life sorry back to that question <laughs> So That's it. all right. You're giving great insight. We'll, we'll take it. Um, yeah, I'm just like throwing everything <laughs> yeah, out there. Yeah, just chuck it. Um, look, it depends. If I'm on a mural, then yes, it is 16 hour days. But you know, it's early mornings. You're getting up at six o'clock. Um, depending if it's a long day, set up, pack up. There's a lot of cleaning. You're out on murals until dark, and then you're coming home. You're still cleaning get ready for the next day we go again yeah. so um that's just like how i like to work some people take it slower but once like i've got my mind on something i like to get it done um so that's just something that i do not other people maybe yeah. it doesn't work for some people mentally i like to just like tick things off and get them done not as quick as possible i still take my time but um if i'm not sorry i'm just not gonna nah, that's right just, just keep here. swinging i'm so, just, just keep i'm going. always swinging You're on the chairs giving everyone anxiety yeah. over here like she's just <laughs> Tulsi's so just gonna like give us like, he's both gonna be like throwing his hands up like both years <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> dear, I can't sit still. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, but look, if I'm not on a mural um, and I still try to train, like, oh, like this morning, gym, food, went to osteo for an hour because I like to look after my body and my hands and my shoulders. Uh, and if I'm in my studio, I'll try to get to my studio by a decent hour. I work on designs, I do emails, I'll have meetings. Like, tomorrow's I've got meetings all day. Every day is different and it's, um, it's fun. It's some people like routine. Routine doesn't really exist in my world. So you're just just yeah. Some days are chaos. This is going on. Yeah. That yeah. It's just yeah. everywhere. Brain you know explosion. Yeah. Brain explosion. Yeah. Just yeah. Go on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And everyone's like, "Oh my god, you take or two. I'm like, "I did it. Don't feel yeah. sorry for me." Yeah. <laughs> like, I always say that. It's like, my choice. Yeah. Like, sometimes I'm just sitting there, like, if I like, I'm actually going through it at the moment with myself. Like, I've chucked so much shit yeah. on my plate, yeah. and I'm sitting there, like, trying to juggle. Mm. I'm like, Christian, you've done this to yourself. Like, get the fuck over it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know that, like, no one feels sorry for you. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Thing? yeah. It's true. It's a yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I'm like trying to tell him like there's like victim that's coming. Like I'm telling myself like, oh, poor, poor you. And then I'm like, <laughs> then my other side's like battering myself. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How good is it though? Yeah. Like, but the thing is, if you had nothing on that plate, you'd be like, ah, yeah. like my life. Like, so it's just like, what? Yeah. It needs to be full. It needs to be full. I'm, I'm, I'm not beneficial to anyone. Everyone's like, you don't stop. I'm like, I am a nobody. I'm a nothingness. That sounds really <laughs> I'm not talking about myself badly. Yeah. I'm like not beneficial to anyone if I'm not like this. Yeah. So it's just like you take me nutsos or you take me nothing and I'm just like like little blob. So just tell yourself that when you're like, I've got too much shit on my yeah. plate. Yeah. It's like, I'm good, I'm good. I'm yeah. good like this. I like, definitely will yeah. just be smashing my other side. Like just When they see that yeah. plate empty, yeah. that's when yeah. you're like, you all got to yeah. worry. <laughs> exit, exit, leave. <laughs> so because otherwise, like, yeah. No. So I've, no, I've learned that because – 
everyone's like, take slow down, don't take too much. And I'm just like, I'm flat. I get flat if I don't do too yeah. much. I'm like, nobody loves me. Like, this is like, so it's just like, you gotta, if you're not you running gotta, through bloody walls, yeah. you're sitting there like, what yeah. the fuck is yeah. going on? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so you feel sorry for yourself it. either way, yeah. really. Yeah. yeah. I so. love it. Well, then even <laughs> how do you, okay, so on bad days, but even on just general sense, how do you find inspiration? Now, you said you're not super creative, but like. You're like. <laughs> yeah. I was like, come on, man. Controversial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, I, I think for, some, for the for the work that you do, like and w- the places that you've been and what you've been able to achieve, and you know, think you've you've got some level of creativity, yeah. man. Yeah, 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 like, definitely. And I think it's pretty high level. You are pretty crazy. Yeah, like, yeah I'm pretty nuts. <laughs> it's like you're pretty crazy. <laughs> um, well, like yeah, I, I definitely sometimes I see things and I, I will, like verbalize, and everyone's like. I did not see that. So I'm like, okay, I do see things differently. And obviously I process things differently, which in turn enables me to be more creative. I get that. But I mean, some artists can just sit there and be like, oh, this and this. Like I need sources of inspiration. Like I'll look at something and be like, oh yeah, like the lines, I could use that and whatnot and the colors and whatnot. But travel used to be my massive source of inspiration, which we don't have at the moment. So um, I try to, I try like, even when I'm going for walks, like, just find inspiration from whether not like not looking at it being like, Oh, I saw a tree. I'm going to go home and paint a tree. Just, (laughs) just like seeing the beauty in things and like helping me, um, I guess opening my mind to that. Then when I go to like do a design that maybe has a brief, it helps me open my mind to like when I go looking for inspiration and whatnot. If that makes sense, that's probably no, I'm see, I'm not very good at putting these things into words. Um, yeah, so look, I'm creative. Like, I, you know, I can go to a client and they say, we want this and I can put like something together in my mind and be like, you should do this. Like, whoa, I never thought of that. But I do, you know, I'm not really an artist that can sit there and just like draw a whole heap of things without seeking that inspiration. I need images. I need life. Like I need, yeah, those sort of things too. Well, when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're for example, painting for a client, do they kind of give you something that's okay this is exactly what we want or is it do a lot of them say oh this is kind of what we want you just kind of come up with it yeah like how does it generally work some people are pretty set um and say but most people are very respectful and they say oh i don't want to give you too much and i'm like you know what this is your space this is your investment tell me what you're thinking if i tell you it's on the wrong like if i think it's not great we'll work together and come up with something that's better so but i do prefer it if people give me you know some sort of direction to what they want because at the end of the day i want my clients to be happy and i guess that's where i you know a lot of artists maybe lack because they don't compromise and they sort of say this is my style this is what i'm going to do um whereas i'm sort of like you know what i've kept my style very versatile for that reason so you can tell me what you want i'm like this will work this will work we can go down this path we can go down this path and i find fun in that so some people don't some people love to just paint what they want to paint and that's it that's totally fine too but yeah i love working with people and you know bringing their vision to life like working together and bringing that that's super special for me and for them so even then so if you if you're doing a lot of client work do you do a is there still a lot of work even when you got to do your 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 portraits or i think you did a few things for your family you did uh, that's a kind of obviously just some fun stuff but yeah um do you kind of just sit down like okay i'm going to start painting all this stuff and then obviously when you look to sell it is that your idea that you're just coming up with or are you kind of going off trends or um sometimes i just paint what i feel yeah. and that that's that can be really scary or really great um this goes either way it's not really in the middle uh so and that and that is just literally what i feel like painting so i've done things like that time is an is an issue for me and i probably don't paint like i mean i painted my fridge i just wanted to paint my fridge yeah on canvases i generally just do what I feel. Whereas if it's a mural, like you've got to be a little bit more strategic as yeah. to what you're doing. And then that, and that way I will look at trends. I'll look at color styles. I'll yeah. look at color palettes. I'll look at, um, you know, like the, um, interior designers pages and things like that too. If I need to, if it's really, yeah. So, cause I mean, sometimes I'm going into beautiful homes and a mural is a statement piece. Like you've got to be careful with what you're putting on the on the wall. So yeah, so I guess that's the fun of it. The design process itself, I find incredibly difficult. It takes me longer to do a design process than what it does for me to paint. Why is that? I battle it. Whether it's that that not so yeah. creative thing, I don't I don't know. I, I like 
I literally have insane highs and lows during design periods. Like I'll be like, oh, like crying. I'm like, yes, this is it. like it just, yeah. it is. Yeah. Even more so than painting. Like it's insane. Yeah, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's extremely interesting. Can you kind of like, um, uh, can you kind of like outsource that? For example, like to grow, if you're going to start adding, if you, I don't, can you kind of bring someone into the team to like focus on, the, on that or not really? Probably. Um, yeah. I think like I've, I've sort of done that before, but and, and this is like where I'm learning to help, get help and get people to help me. Um, whether or not, I probably just have to test it and see if clients are okay with me doing that. And then obviously I've got my vision and getting someone else to help me put that into a design. Well, when you, when you, wait, when you say, so like run me through the design process. So is yeah. that kind of it's something like a, that you you do it on the computer? Yeah, like a digital mock-up. Yeah, so, okay. Um, so I taught myself how to like do all that and I'm like literally not very good with technology. Yeah. So it took me like 20 <laughs> years, but that's all right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just feel like the, when you do it yourself from the start, like I know, I know the process, I know the design, like I go in and I'm like on top of it. Whereas I feel like if I outsource that, it's just not my work. And I, I don't know whether or not it'll affect the end result. I'm not sure. But what if like, what if like you could bring the person in with you or. Yeah. And they'd have to know, like yeah. get into my brain. Yeah. Cause then, cause then yeah. that will take that part and then you can just keep just. Yeah. True. Yeah. I don't know, like, no, 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 one hundred percent. It's funny you like sound like my boyfriend because he's always like, "Just get some lunch yeah. in the time work." And I'm like, "I know, I know." Yeah. Well, yeah, the hardest so, thing, the, the yeah. hardest thing for me was like in in business, like it was just like trying to kind of let go of so because I felt the exact same yeah. way. But then, like when you when you when you well, you've obviously got to bring someone in that that you think's really cool. But if they're kind of like they're kind of like your PA in a sense, yeah. like if they're understanding you perfectly and mm. you're on this rhythm, then I don't know. I, I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. I think you could pull something. I think I, so. I, I, think, know, I can, think now that I've been told like. 500 times that you're like you got, probably the 499th yeah. time then maybe <laughs> I, I reckon, have to listen I reckon yeah, you yeah, just yeah. gotta dive just yeah. do it and yeah. you, you you said something before that I, I thought was really interesting I want to touch on it you said sometimes I just don't know what I'm gonna paint if I just dive in it could be bad it could be great like is that emotion driven or what is that? Oh, that's funny you say that you know I looked at this piece that I did when I was 15 and it's 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 I think it's really bad. Everyone loves it. I think it's bad because I look at it. You probably like, think all your work's bad because you've yeah. been staring at it yeah, for fucking 20 like, hours. Yeah. I went to like put it away and yeah. hide it. And Dad's like, what are you doing with that? I'm like, this is leaving this is the shit. building. Yeah. Like, this is bad. It's like, and then they're like, it's like a billion it. dollar piece. Oh, like, <laughs> so far out. Yeah, like, can't. Oh my God. Yeah. So, yeah, it's true. Like, when you look at something for too long or it's yours, you're just yeah. like, yeah, like, whatever. Yeah, you're like, I could have done better. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, look, it's me like with my head in my hands and then there's like a door behind me and there's it's a black room and you've got like a little light shining out of the door so it's very dark so I see that as a bad piece who knows what I was thinking when I did that piece so yes I think like emotion so you're just does. kind of just are you just going like is that what you mean like oh I would have had some like I think I I don't know what got me to do that piece I can't remember because I was young yeah I would have had some sort of trigger or mo- meaning behind it, I guess. But yeah, there's some That's pieces crazy. that you just I just go, and it's just like whoa. And and then most <laughs> then most of the time, the next day I go in, I just like roll over it and just and they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, yeah, I hate it, yeah. I hate it. So yeah, you got to keep them all. You oh, can't I do know, this. And I say that to people too. So I'm like such a hypocrite. Yeah, I'm always you, like, keep all your work because then you can see what like where, how your journey yes. is about. Yes. Duh. Like yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm burning. I had like this <laughs> when I because I, I I'm not even an artist. I had this like so I've been in business now for seven years and I had this box that I used to just like I had it. It was a memorabilia box. Yeah. And I used to fill everything in there from my first year, second year, third. I used to just kept putting things That's in so there. That's so good. And I'm I'm like, yeah, I'm, one day I'm going to like look back and this is going to be really cool. Yeah, my, we were doing a clean. My brother just thought he was junk and he threw it all out. And I still burn to this day. There was like four or five years oh worth my. in there. 
and I was burning. So I can't believe you just throw all yours out. Like, oh, come on, you no. got to keep it. No, okay, so no, I don't. Or throw... paint over it. Yeah, paint yeah, over yeah. it. Some on the paint. The, the early, like the really early day work, I've kept. No oh, one's good. thrown it out. So. Good, 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 good. That, that's that. They're yeah. the billions of dollars. Those ones. But there, yeah, like, yeah. There's a piece that I did when I was, like, I think I was like five years old, and it's me or someone like playing the drums, and it literally looks like a Picasso piece. And I'm like, that's sick. Like, I should blow that up. Bloody oh. But every time, like, I go to look at it, I'm like, okay, that's not as good as what I thought it was. It's just in my head. It's like really good. And then when I look at it, I'm like, that's that's not great. No, but, no, <laughs> yeah. no. I reckon, I, so, I reckon it's crazy. For that age, like, so, uh, it was good. It was I always good. think, like, this is completely, like, wayside. And someone listen to this, you might even think it's just stupid. But I think this, like, if, in business. Now, the number one business in the world is uh, Amazon. Yeah. And I think, like, imagine, like, someone like Jeff someone was selling or Jeff Bezos sold his business card from like 20 whenever he started 15 20 years ago like to me I would think like I think it's cool I probably yeah. wouldn't pay for it but yeah. I'm sure <laughs> yeah. someone would, would see value in it 100% yeah. and and that's why even with your stuff like I I think I don't know don't throw it out please yeah. or oh, don't run <laughs> over it you're like can I come <laughs> have a look at everything before you throw it out <laughs> yeah. you're gonna send me photos no, of everyone <laughs> it's so it's so that's so true though because yeah. like just because you we don't see value 100%. in it. Doesn't mean that someone else won't, because I, it might like hit someone else different. And, and like you know, someone might have had a business card that made them a billionaire because they gave it to that one person, and then they'd see value in Jeff's because they're like, okay, yes. that's his story. So there's always meaning, and there's always like, I guess, um, value in those sort of things. So yeah, no, that's I what totally. And I don't do. Throw it out. Yeah, no, I won't. Okay, um, every time. I Paint yeah. over a piece. I'm just gonna have you in the back yeah. of my head. Like I'm s- now, I'm like getting agitated on my yeah. chair. Like <laughs> it's even it's even crazy on this little sense. Like I got so Tuzi and, and another guy Mike. They've they've jumped into the business and they're videographers. Like I've told them just video things. Like yeah, get if, everything. Yeah, just get everything. And we're like, not even gonna got put so many SD cards. Yeah, yeah just <laughs> fill them up. Fill them yeah. up. Like I, it doesn't matter if if we're not gonna use any of this content. We'll look back in ten years time yeah. and we'll use it. We'll yeah. make a documentary. We'll do something out 100%. of this stuff. That's yeah, and th- I mean that's a big Gary V thing. He always says he's yes, like, he's 100%. like I don't care what you're filming. Yes, just, just because you think no one's watching doesn't mean it, like yes. it tell if you've got nothing at the start. What have you got to compare your journey to? A hundred percent. Literally, I'm like that's that's yes, true. Yes, like yeah. even 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 like I think Gary V said it before. He's like imagine like well he hasn't documented his journey. He only started probably ten years, 15, 10, 12 years ago. Yeah, but imagine like. Jeff Bezos or like Elon Musk or all these people like documented their journeys like right at the start. Like, yeah. man, that would go insane. Well, look at look at Matt McConaughey. Like, who the hell journaled from like what was he fourteen years old was he? when he started journaling? Really, and that's what created his Green Lights book. I did not know that. Yeah, so I think it was like fourteen and fifteen years old, and he literally like documented his life. Really? Yeah, and that's what his book what, is has he, has he built a around. Book on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Green Lights. It's no amazing. Way. Yeah, yeah, he's insane. He's like his his discipline and his routine and and whatnot. Um, and the book, incredible. Green lights, red lights, like. And it's all about- listen to it because he tells he tells the audio. I started reading it. Um, but he actually tells the audio book, so... You're kidding. And yeah. it's, it's a journal from, like, yeah. years ago. and he's, like, obviously put things in the book from, like, what he's actually written and, and like, significant... Yeah, That's it, I won't say wow, too okay. much because you got to yeah, yeah, okay. read it, but... But it's the same concept. Same thing. Like, he was, it, t- t- you know, from when he came to Australia and he hated it and like, was he, he didn't hate it, but he, he, he lived in Australia wow. for a little bit. He did, like, um, what's that, exchange kind of thing. Oh, wow, I didn't even yeah, know Yeah, yeah, but... It literally, he was nothing when he started writing. Not to say that it was, you know, but he, yeah, he wasn't who he is yeah, yeah, now. So, and he wasn't to know that he was going to be as he successful was, as he is. And he had it journaled. That so is insane. So crazy. And so, as you say, like, imagine, you know, we don't know where we're going to end up in 20 years' time, 30 years' time. So. 110%. And it's, yeah. it's crazy just to call back. Like, these podcasts yeah. and be like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at me now. Yeah. Well, that's why yeah. I've written NFTs in here because, like, in five years' time, when, like, you're like a billionaire. I'm going to be like, hey, I said yeah. it. I said it. I said it. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent though. Yeah. So, well, you got proof. Like, yeah. I could otherwise be like, nah, you didn't say yeah. it. Wasn't you. It was all me. Yeah. That's all. Even on music. You're going like, to play this back over. Yeah. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. So that's why it's like, um, 
It, it's crazy, and that's a big reason why, even as well, I wanted to get you on because I actually it was one. Of, I think it was the first question I asked you. Do you have any idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which we're gonna touch on it, but we'll get there. We'll, we'll get, get there. there. Um, <laughs> we're gonna excited. get there. Yeah. <laughs> um, work life balance, like. What does that mean to you? Um, I know you said you're crazy, but like, and you, you're working a lot. But you know, how, how do you find you know the balance? Like, does it keep you sane, or are you completely one sided, or how do you see it? Uh, I I'm still struggling with that aspect. Uh, I think I think I've gotten better, especially COVID. I think has been a big like I, I like it's obviously ruined a lot of people's businesses and whatnot so I'm not taking away from that fact but I think it was a blessing if you if you could take the blessings from it then awesome and I think it slowed everyone down I think it made everyone realize like wow like life can really change and like things can it's actually crazy, wasn't be it? flipped upside down <laughs> um you know and the time that you got to spend with family you know I think it's like valuable and it's perhaps something that we'll never get to experience again. Who never. knows? So maybe this year, maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah. Yeah. maybe for like a, yeah, a week. Sorry for the rattles. <laughs> um, but yeah. And I'm like, it's, it's crazy. So I guess, you know, over the years, certain things have happened, whether I, you know, I, I hit rock bottom or, um, like, I think my partner's super, super understanding. So that's never been an issue in terms of work. Um, but yeah, I've seen the value in in like the and the, all the it's there's no harm to like take a few days off and to just be like okay like I'm not getting anywhere right now like let's just have a day off let's do something for myself so I still don't have that quick enough like I'll probably just yeah. keep going 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 and then I'm like oh oh like okay I haven't had a day off in like three weeks like yeah. maybe I should take a rest but I'm definitely better at stopping now and I think balance come you know that comes with like spending time with family enjoying a drink enjoying the food that you love um going to the gym like really looking after my mental health so you know I don't I try to journal every day but you know if I'm not feeling the greatest I get my thoughts out onto paper so just implementing those things that that to me is balance as well so you know, when people are like, I don't have time to journal. I'm like, well, how long do you spend on Instagram a day? Oh, bad. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's just like, and so I'm, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm not kidding yeah. myself. Like we do so much shit like, yeah. and you can't give yourself five minutes yeah. to do a meditation or, or a journal. You don't want these things to be a chore, but if you're struggling, at least exhaust those things that can help you before you really be like, oh, poor me. Like... <laughs> help yourself and that's balanced to me so yeah as i mentioned before like me working a lot like that's fine i know i'm better off if i'm busy um but yeah the the, the work life balancing like i'm still go 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 and i still need to obviously learn be like okay you can't do that much or you yeah. Know. <laughs> yeah whether or not that'll ever happen i don't know yeah probably so, not like even yeah. I'm, I'm probably facing i got the same, same battles literally you're always and even when you kind of are off like i was in i was in the gold coast i went away um over the weekend and even when i was there i didn't like working I, yeah like I, laptop yeah like <laughs> it, well, it was yeah it was pretty much like still on like for example it went down like a crazy like nft crypto yeah. tangent and like going into all that and yeah. then i got some idea and then i was in there and then i got another idea and i was just there yeah yeah like, just, yeah like, and, <laughs> I, I, and that's the thing you can be away and everyone's like oh you went on holiday i'm like yeah, yeah i was still doing yeah. everything that i probably shouldn't have been doing but so and, and you know what you're just wired like that like you you when you think of something you gotta do it or you gotta like implement that otherwise yeah. you're just like poof like that's yeah. gone on to the next like you know that you've obviously learned that yeah. you either like I, sometimes now i try to like write it down i'm like that can wait till the next day like or that email or that like thing that you've thought about it you know before you're going to sleep like that can wait so i've sort of learned that but yeah I, you know i go away and i'm just like Ooh, yeah Ooh. <laughs> but it's but it's, Ooh. it's the worst because sometimes i'm yeah. in bed and like I'll think of something yeah. and then I'll have to grab my phone and then I'll write all the notes down. So I'll, yeah. I'll write it all in my calendar so I can remember or email myself <laughs> and then I'll sit there and then something else will come yeah. like, oh, get the phone back out. <laughs> and it's just like, fuck. Like, Could you imagine if you had like a camera attached yeah. to you? Like everyone would be like, yeah. what, what is the? going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good. I don't know. Some people, some people aren't like wired like that and that's totally fine yeah. too. But I feel like it's very, very hard to like, to switch that off yeah. if, if you are wired like that. So yeah, as I said, there's things to help with that. You know, like sometimes I'm just like, my brain is going to explode today. So I'm like, okay, we need some quiet time. So I'll try and then I'm like, oh, something else. Yeah. Nah, nah, I'm kidding. I'll, yeah, sorry. Like, 
Yeah, so I, I don't know. It's um, work-life balance. And travel was good for that. And that's one thing that, like, I think a lot of people who live crazy busy lives, I would book in a holiday and just be like, you're going. No matter how busy you are, like, that's that commitment to myself and you're going. So, and, and still when you're in Australia, it's still like, oh, I'm... I'm working. I'm still working. It's so your, even if so you go to gold, funny. I yeah. was thinking yeah. that. Yeah. I was literally thinking that today. Like, oh, okay, I'm fresh. Yeah. But I don't feel like fresh. Like when you go overseas in this, your phone's completely detached. Like, yeah. oh, they can get you on Facebook and WhatsApp or whatever. But like time zones are different. Exactly. Like it's. It's, You've got that barrier. Yes, we, correct. You don't have that when you're in Australia. Yeah, People correct. know you're here. Yes. They know that you're not jumping on a flight to America yes, anytime soon. Yes, 100%. So, so like, yeah. yeah, that's exactly how I that's felt. That's what I think what COVID has done is people expect things quicker now because they're like, we know you're available. Yeah. We know, like, we we know, know we can jump there. on a Zoom yeah. like, t- <laughs> tomorrow. So there's like, like, a little bit more pressure in terms yeah. of that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's funny. <laughs> even, even like you traveling, like – um. So you've done you've done a lot of work overseas, and even like as I touched on when we first when when I first introduced you, how how you met the Rock, like how did that happen? Like how like how did you just like yeah meet him and now like you're friends with him and <laughs> how does that even happen? It's so weird. Isn't it was it? weird. You just look at him like fuck. He's big. He's um, big. <laughs> the first thing I think the first thing like I turned around and I looked at him I was like holy fucking shit. <laughs> holy I think shit. I actually said that. <laughs> And I'm just like such a bogan too. Like yeah. there's so much more highlighted yeah. when you're like not with any bogan. Yeah. So it's like, whoa, <laughs> yeah, who is she? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I oh, look, he he saw a piece. Um, Instagram used to be a little more less complicated back in the day. Yeah. And um, he saw a piece that I was doing for a client and um, shout out. Yeah. <laughs> um, but and basically I did, then did a piece. This is like long story short. Did a piece of him and his mum to say yeah. thank you and obviously you know he's done a lot for his mum his journey as he's probably now um illustrating in not even the word. can we just like pop that up so like on the screen now there's just going to be a photo of the artwork <laughs> in which towards he's going to put in there <laughs> and that's the thing i look i look at that artwork now i'm like that is so bad <laughs> so one of those things again i'm like i can't go to the rock like hey can i just roll I was over that at it today. i think it was nice really yeah, yeah. So yeah it's funny. see i think you're just you're just shitting on yourself yeah. really it's good good, good yeah. though like because if i didn't i'd just be like i'm good I'm yeah sweet. <laughs> most things i look at my like, you're like now shit, i'm like shit, 10 times shit. better than yeah. that <laughs> so it's funny all part you know yeah no, not comfortable no yeah. complacency <laughs> um but yeah and then i was traveling anyway and i got like my family like roll the painting up and here i went to america and i went to um, through Mexico to Cuba and I'm carrying this freaking painting around <laughs> Everywhere me. you went. Everywhere Just I went. Just carry it. <laughs> um, and then he ended up seeing that I was there, got his um, social media manager to contact me. That's crazy. And I'm a bit of a slow moment. Gave, only my mum had this number and I gave that number over and I get a text and it's like, hey D, like it's DJ. And I just, I think, wrote back and I was like, who's this? <laughs> But like only two people had my number, yeah. and he's like, it's it's like D, it's like Dwayne Johnson. I was just like, through, I was in the middle of Cuba. Yeah. I was like, threw my phone up the bus. I was like, what the? Like, because I mean, Cuba. It, yeah. You're not in like you know, Northcote. Like, yeah. <laughs> so. And I love um, he throws like a little. Bit, it's DJ. It's like. DJ, and I was like, oh my god, like far out. Because when I first read, I'm like, who's that? Yeah. Like, who's this messaging? Yeah. Me? Like I'm in Cuba, so it didn't really put two and two together. But yeah. Anyways, I was my the last semester of my course was like already two weeks in um and yeah i had a friend that was basically like you're doing this like you don't be a dickhead like and was just pushing me i'm like no but like but this and really scraping the money barrel like had no money i was a student so changed like a million flights actually these guys from mexico helped me get this flight and they I popped up on their feed the other, like this a few months ago. And they're like, hey, we're the ones who helped you get the flight. No like, way. And I was like, what no the way. hell? I was like, mind blown. I was like, that is so cool yeah. how that happens. But um, yeah, anyways. And so I caught like, I got stopped at customs. It was, it was, I was like, um, 
I hadn't like I was like sick in Cuba and then like I hadn't slept or showered in a few days. So it was really great. Um, <laughs> and then I got held up in Houston. I had to sleep like in I don't know if anyone's been to Houston, but like near the airport's really dodgy. And so because um, I got held up in customs because I didn't realize it was illegal to take Cuban goods like into America, <laughs> but I did. And I was like, "There for the rock." And he's like, "You need to get on a plane and go straight to Australia." And I was like. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Got another flight to go to. Yeah, you're <laughs> to like, boss. I was like, nah, yeah. but I missed my flight. So anyways, next day, well, I get to like the, the hostel, or get to the, yeah, where I, because I missed my flight. And Dwayne had actually messaged me and he's like, hey, like I'm on set. So just message me when you get to LA. And I changed my flights to go to Boston. And I just wrote back and I'd never usually do this. I was like, too late, already on my way. So Still rocked up. And then the next day I met him at, on set of Central Intelligence. Um, and then the rest is history. We've kind of like kept, kept that, in contact since. That and is insane. I, I don't like, I, I don't, I live a busy life and he lives a ridiculously busy life. So I never message him like, hey, how are you going? Like, yeah. I don't, like when his dad passed away, like I sent him a message and then he sent me a voice memo back, which was like, really sorry, got you again. Got the little, got the little twitch again. Sorry, yeah. Um, yeah and um, and he like replies and That's crazy, stuff. But man. I'm, I, you know, I know that if I had a question, I would. But I just, I don't like to. Yeah, you don't want to take like, advantage yeah. of the fact that he's already him stopping and giving me that recognition and like, you know, what he's written and stuff is already enough for me and that's priceless. So, yeah, you know, I have people all the time like, oh, can you do this? And like, can you, yeah. can I, I'm like, man, even if you offered me $10 million, I would never, that's one relationship yeah, I would never ever take advantage of. Yeah, like, 100%. You know, so. Um, that's and, insane. And I know what it's like when you feel like everyone's like wanting your blood. Like, can you do, can you do this? Yeah. Can you shout this out? Can you do this? Can it's you true. do this? Can you imagine like someone like oh, that? No, I like. I'm not yeah. an angry person, but I reckon I'd just like hundred percent lose my marbles. So hard, so hard. And even even that's it's it's funny. Like even just uh, I don't know. And there's a lot of people like there's the artist Lush Sucks, for example. Yeah. He says he does not even want to be. He's nowhere near that famous, but he wouldn't even want to even try because it's he's mates with people that are like that. And no, yeah. It's just yeah. like. Yeah. Man, it's it's. I couldn't even like. The, he can't even. The Rock can't even go down the street. Nah. Like people would like jump on him. Could like, you imagine? Like, like <laughs> that's a hard. That's hard. hard that's hard. hard. Yeah. Like, and I think extremely. people don't give celebrities like that enough credit. And then everyone's like, "Is he genuine?" I'm like, considering like how much he gets, he he is like the kindest person yeah, I've man. ever met. Like, and the most genuine. Like, even when I was speaking to him in person that day. Like he was taking me on an offset and like he was, uh, and I was That's trying to crazy, ask him questions man. about him and he just kept asking questions about me, my family. And I'm just like, Hey, I don't care about me. Like, yeah. but he just, <laughs> he's just me. like, I'm here for you. Yeah. I want to know about you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just insane. Like how you can be that. Oh, I don't know. He's got a crazy story. Um, crazy. Like I think he was homeless or he, seven he, bucks. That's why. It's seven yeah, bucks for yeah. And then he was living on the couch of someone brought him in. Yeah. Or some something like yeah, that. Yeah, I, yeah. Like insane story. And then he turns it. He turned it around. I think he's they, the guy that brought him in. And he's still obviously extremely close with him. Yeah. And I don't know the. Yeah. I can't remember the details. No, literally, but, he's literally came from nothing. Um. Yeah. Pretty, pretty like rough upbringing, I think. And like, I think he gave um, rugby. What's that sport? Yeah, it's called different <laughs> American football. American football yeah. crack and didn't, and then that's where yeah. So is, just did he get uh, injured or something? Yeah, he's yeah. had injuries, and then obviously he did the WWE. But yeah, like, that was, and, and that's it, probably what that that's well, what. I thought he was. I thought career. he was a mega star in the WWE. That was nothing yeah, compared no, to what he's now. And now he's just leveled yeah. up, and like the businesses, and and that's and you know someone sometimes sometimes comments like, oh, doesn't he ever have like enough money like why does he need to keep doing that i'm like for someone like that it's not about the it's money it's not about the money it's definitely not yeah. about the money if you yeah. see where they've come from 100%. and where they are now he's not looking at the dollars he's looking at no. like how much he obviously is grateful from where he's come from Bloody and oath. he's like let's see what more i can do it's the same with me like, I, it's like i've never been in it for the money it's art do you know what i mean but you just like see what more you can do like, yeah bloody it's crazy but like, even you always want more 100 yeah. percent. and like he's inspiring you're inspiring people i guarantee you get messages all the time from people that are you know that are inspired by your work or inspired to push them in a, in a direction yeah that they never thought they could probably do so that's literally because well, they see it and they're like oh i can like i yeah. can do that yeah if you, you know? can i can yeah, like <laughs> you know, i can do it yeah yeah exactly yeah 100 so, and that's yeah that's that's why when sometimes you get caught up in the madness of life i'm just like remember why why, you know, why you started was more so to save my ass 
and now like why you keep going is yeah for all those messages that i get you know bloody oath um, and how how are you finding it i know we haven't really dabbled into it but being a business owner because it's really what you are how are you finding that how are you finding it? Man. <laughs> I'm like, let's just throw that one. How do you go? <laughs> my life is crazy. It's... I'm just like pulling my hair. <laughs> oh. I can hear my phone just like bing, 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 bing. I'm like, yeah. who wants me now? What problem is there? Is it? I know. <laughs> and you know what? Like, yeah. you, there's mo- like it's it's weekly that I'm just like, why do I do this? Like, why mm. do I do this? But you know why you do. Yeah. And, and you keep going back for more. And, and I always say that I'm like, as long as the good outweighs the bad, you'll still be there. Um, and you're going to have shit everywhere you go. And you're going to have crap clients. You're going to have good clients. My good clients always outweigh the bad. Um, pretty fortunate. But yeah, there's always going to be headaches. I mean, I freaking, I just deleted myself as admin on my Facebook page. <laughs> How do you even do that? Like, so now I have this floating yeah. Facebook page. Everyone's like, just start a new one. I'm like, like bro, I that's got 10 followers. years yeah. of, of hard work. You're just like, just start a new one. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Are you shitting me? So it's just like, if it's not something, yeah. it's, it's something else. It'll, and it's never going to be smooth sailing. If you own a business and you think it's going to be easy. It never is. Don't even enter it. Yeah. Don't even do it. Never <laughs> easy. And I guess that's something that a lot of artists or creatives that love it so much are scared to to step into because you got to be resilient. Like if, if you let it get to you, it'll kill your passion straight mm. away. So... It's hard. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, yeah, yeah it's easy. And, I, and, and everyone is probably the same. Like, we don't show enough of the lows in business on social media and where and whatnot because I don't want to sit there and complain because, again, I chose to do this. So yes. I'm not going to sit and be like, oh, this person with me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a choice. Um, I'll sit here now and say it's frigging hard and it's a roller coaster, but I love it and I love the challenge of it. So... There's like, it's, yeah, it, it, I just explain it. It's just like, it's a, literally a roller coaster. You're up, you're down. Yeah. There's days you don't want to go in. Like, even I've been, I was literally on the phone, like, getting my, I haven't had a coffee in a couple of months, but I had to cheer myself up for this one. Because I'm like, this <laughs> one's. Know, when gonna- you walked out, you're like, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah, and you're like, oh, okay. And like, I was like, why would I full scream at her? I was like, I don't know. I'm like, whatever. I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> That's why I was in my head. I was like, why did I do that? I don't know. I was just pumping up. That was up. good. I was, was good. ramping. I was ramping. It's like, welcome. And, yeah. <laughs> and, like, I don't know. Like, I was I was on the phone to Michael, the guy that you just met before, and I was just like, I feel like I'm running in fucking circles and, like, I've chucked so much shit and I'm trying to just put pieces and I feel like, and it's probably the first time that I've ever said this. People say this a lot, but this is probably the first time I've said it. It's like, I feel like I'm actually not achieving much. And he's like, yeah, he's like, but Christian, He's like, we're fucking flat out. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah okay. Yeah. But it's just like, it's driving me nuts. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, and, We've got so much going on that you probably can't be like, oh, I am achieving this because you're just yeah. getting shit done. Like, yeah, and I'm, I'm glad that we're even doing this because yeah. it's like, it's, it's kind of like a breakaway to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to yeah. the world. But then when we jump back in, it'll just be like, bang. And that's a good thing. Like, we're both like talking about, okay, we're yeah. normal. Like, yeah. we, 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 it's, it's okay. Like, so you being like, okay, ah, yeah. like, that's, that's normal. Like we, but yeah, it's, yeah, but we, it's we, we do love and it. And hopefully like, we help other people. Like yeah. just by chatting about this, like, oh yeah, I felt like that for the last six months. Yeah. Cool. That's all good. Like, <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. But so. it's, uh, you know, yeah. I, I think, think you got to be honest about it. 100%. So you're sitting here and saying, yeah, like it's hard. And I feel like I'm, and, and that's the thing. Like I might finish a big piece and be like, everyone's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't really feel like I've achieved much in the last six months. Like, so own worst critics. Pretty much. Pretty much. And, now you've purchased was it, I think last year you and you moved into one of Oscar's uh, developments. Shout out to Oscar. Shout out to Oscar Ledlam. <laughs> yeah. By a flexi. I think he sold it actually, all these flexis. They're, they're all gone. Don't, don't promote it yeah. <laughs> Can you come up with some yeah. more? <laughs> so I think all these warehouses yeah. are gone as well, but shout out anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you finding that? Um so good. I think I think where people get mistaken is they're like oh my god you've got that space and it's just like i've waited slash worked for 10 years to have my own space it's been spare rooms it's been in the middle of the kitchen i haven't had my own space like thank you so much to everyone who's given me their space and let me paint on the roofs and the walls and everything (laughs) but um that's one thing like i've never wanted 
you know, too much too quickly. I think people can really stab themselves in the foot. Oh, my business is doing really well. I'm going to go buy a new car and buy this. I drive like a 2005 Astra and I don't have paint on my roof <laughs> or my bonnet. Probably should paint it. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, but in saying that, Fuck like it. it's, it's it gets you where you need to go. Yeah, and exactly. that's it. And yeah. I can leave it in the yeah. side street. Yeah. Like if someone takes it, take yeah. it, take my take car, it. take it. That's why I brought my laptop in yeah. here. <laughs> Not that anyone would take my car. <laughs> Probably safe leaving it yeah. in there actually. Oh God. Um, but yeah, I, I, di- I haven't like, you know, when I've had my, successes or little milestones i haven't been like oh like let's go buy this or let's go do this and everyone's like oh we get a new car like you deserve it i'm like do i deserve it like do i deserve like a new car it's my first car yeah. i've ever driven <laughs> but yeah my point is like i'm like now that i have this space because i have worked so hard and I, it wasn't easily accessible to me and not something that i got in my first year of business that i was like reward yeah um it's insane like means more and that's why you know i said Congrats, Oscar too. i'm honestly, so grateful for insane. it uh and yeah it's really special because like i've got an office and i'm not like you feel like a businesswoman i feel like i got my office <laughs> yeah. like calling people like i'm not Come to you know, my i office. still roll up in like other boots <laughs> yeah. and shit who do you think this is but yeah fucking oath. <laughs> but um yeah and, and my car too everyone i'm looking at us i'm like nice car nice car i'm like little shit box yeah. like <laughs> but yeah it's um yeah insane like and and the atmosphere there is amazing too like just seeing young people run businesses and you know you can say like how are you going like you know we all know that we're in the same boat like the same like hustle slash struggle slash greatness like yeah. it's just everything <laughs> and um, everyone's bouncing off each other but yeah i had like so much stuff and i had to move it's taken me months to like set it up but now i'm like nearly there and yeah just having like good on you some space to work where i'm not like oh shit just drop that canvas and yeah. slid it in half because i had no room so yeah so thank you it's, that's it's crazy that's- and like even just do you find that i don't know you it's having that separation that you could just kind of go in there like you get lost anyway in your work but at least you can just kind of get it's a little bit different it's another different vibe well that was the idea of this to create some of that work home life balance yeah. um because obviously having my studio at home and like my prints at home and everything get an order oh I'll just go pack that now whereas mm. I don't have that and so the, it is creating a little bit more balance like um but then again like sometimes I'm there at 10 o'clock I'm like oh yeah shit. should go home yeah like, yeah so your partner's um, calling you like yeah, yeah. Fuck are you? <laughs> I'm so lucky that yeah. he's not she's like he's still where he knows like yeah. he's so so understanding yeah. but um yeah so it's that that's another step I guess to creating that balance but I I, I just it came at the right time. I, I worked hard. I did, you know, bought a space for my business. Um, and yeah, it's, it's nice when it's yours, I think. Like, Good on you. Yeah. And now the part that I've wanted to go into. Are you familiar with NFTs? Yes. Non-fungible tokens. Now, I've just Such written a something. Cool word. Yes. Like, and I, I've fungible. just written something so I can actually, if anyone that doesn't know. So, NFT, NFTs are one-of-a-kind assets in the digital world that can be bought and sold like any other piece of property, but they have no tangible form of their own. NFTs are best understood as computer files combined with proof of ownership and authenticity like a deed. Like cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, they exist on a blockchain, blockchain, a tamper-resistant digital public ledger. But like dollars, cryptocurrencies are fungible, meaning one Bitcoin is always worth the same as any other Bitcoin. By contrast, NFTs have unique valuations set by the highest bidder. Just like a Re- Re- Rem- Rembrandt or a Picasso. Who's a Re- who's Rembrandt? I don't know. A Rembrandt. <laughs> I don't know. It must be an artist. I don't know. <laughs> Artists who want to sell their work as NFTs have to sign up with a marketplace, then mint digital tokens by uploading and validating their information on a blockchain. Typically, the Ethereum blockchain which is a rival platform to Bitcoin. Doing so usually costs anywhere from $40 to $200. They can list their piece of, for auction on an NFT marketplace similar to eBay. So there's like uh, Thrifty Gateway. Um, nifty, OpenSea. Yeah, Nifty Gateway, sorry. OpenSea, <laughs> Thrifty. That sounded good though. Yeah, <laughs> OpenSea, there's, there's millions of them. Um, the digital tokens can be thought as certi- certificates of ownership for virtual or physical assets. So they're pretty much giving the power back to the artists there's billions of dollars being thrown in this industry like crazy like there was there was an nft that sold for 69 million dollars 
which I'm sure you would have seen it. Yeah. And the artist Beeple, what he did was he grabbed every single piece that he ever made and just made it into Mashed one it. and just sold it off. And now this people like Lush Sucks, he's selling $20,000 a pop on his um, Crazy. on his NFT runs and he's doing like eight of it. It's just insane. It's insane. It's like, actually insane. Um, it's exciting. That's what it is. I think – it, it, it's just super exciting. I, I'm grateful that I'd gotten into crypto a few years ago because I think if someone, you know, threw this at me and I had no understanding of crypto, I'd be like, what is yeah. this? Whereas it's I have a fad. that. Yeah, yeah. So I think I think that is the first yeah. step because yeah. you sort of understand that world. Um, but everyone's like, but it's but it's nothing. Like it's in there. And I think just understanding the concept of it. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's so exciting. There's a lot, like I've sort of been spending the last six weeks or whenever – since I guess people sold his, um, and I've had a lot yeah, of people contact four me to six weeks ago, four to yeah. six weeks ago, um, and I just sort of feel like like over. I'm like I need to do it now. I need to do it yeah. now. I need to do it now. <laughs> so um, I guess yeah, it's it's super exciting. I guess the difference is with me is because, and I don't know how Lushux has done it. I've seen that he's done it, but I don't know how he's navigated it. But um, me, it was just breaking down how I would sell my work because obviously a lot of the people who are uploading them are digital assets and digital digital work yeah. digital artwork so i wanted to create something a little bit different and obviously have the original i think how i do it is like have the original for sale have the, the digital file for sale and then have like a time lapse of it being done and package it together okay so because i was like what do i do with the original burn it um like, yeah okay do you know what i mean yeah, so yeah because yeah, i mean digital art's like cool but it's not really like I, I, I could do it, but it's. I've always like been like, like hands on. Yeah. Like hands on. So there's that's that's the interesting part of it. It's just watching. It's like oh my god, like you know, and, and I love the fact that artists are jumping on it because it has opened up. You know, the gallery world. Unfortunately, it's amazing, but you know they're taking fifty percent of your profits. Um, and then you know you don't get any royalties Correct. onwards from that. Whereas NFTs have opened up. You know, if I sell a piece to someone. If I upload, uh, I don't know. See, I don't know the correct term of terminology. Just run with it. Upload Just one go with file, it. Yeah. Someone buys it, yeah. the highest bid, um, and then they sell it in ten years' time. You're get getting anywhere between ten and twenty percent yeah, royalty man. for that for the ongoing sales. Correct. That is insane. Even if I do that now, like if I sell my pieces now to a client, they could sell it to whoever. I don't get anything from it. But yeah, opening up that for artists and you know for musicians and whatnot. Insane. And probably the credit that we, you know, worked for and deserved, um, and I guess especially musicians because people, you know, play music and whatnot and, you know, they don't get enough um, reward or like, yeah, royalties from that. So I think it's just um, take giving the control back to the creatives. 100%. And that's dangerous too. <laughs> Why? Why is it dangerous? It's just great. Like it's, it's, it's when you say dangerous, like bad dangerous no, or like crazy dangerous, great like dangerous, Daniel like, Weber crazy. It's, like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's good dangerous. Like it's, it's crazy. You've got all these like insane artists that, and yeah, like I'll put my hand up and say, I've learned to do business, but a very, very high percentage of artists and creatives do not know how to run a business yeah. for shit. Like, it's yeah. actually a problem. It's it's, it's two different things in yeah, a sense, and really. That's, and that's, yeah, probably haven't tapped on that. Switching from business to creative yeah. is like, whoa. Um, so, <laughs> and, and, and some people, you know, put up their hand like, I'm not going to because I, I can't do both. So, this is literally sort of given them an in without having to it's yeah Bloody oath. it's just well, yeah there's what's going on is even like for example someone like dead mouse he's partnering up i think steve aoki did it as well he's yeah. partnering up with artists yeah so like he's creating his music nft with an artist yeah. and they're both collabing in yeah. a sense insane it, it, mental yeah. like yeah. you're gonna have and, and what it's doing is as well like personal brands so like a lot of people are, are now like gary v yeah gary, like i've Loves been him. like i was in i was i've been watching him on twitter uh while i was in the gold coast i was like watching his twitter a lot and over the last week what he's been doing he's just been drawing so really? he is going to be launching his own nft guaranteed love it guaranteed so yeah. like it's what's happening now is even for personal brands like they're gonna start creating N nfts and like it's 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 just opening up a whole new oh, world. And, yeah, yeah, that's um, what I mean. Like it's dangerous, but it's great. Mental like, and yeah, even like crazy. Have you seen the movie Ready Player One? No. Nah. Okay, 
So it's a Steven Spielberg, Steven Spielberg, Spielberg. movie. Yeah. And it's about like the year 2040, I think it is. Okay. And everybody is living in oh, VR. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is it new? It just yeah, came out Yeah, it was a couple last- years old. Yeah, oh, maybe, or maybe last yeah, year. It's yeah. very new. Yeah. It, everyone's living in VR goggles. Okay. And their world is technically an NFT. Like everything's an NFT. Wow. And it's just where we, it's where we're heading. Like even think about like, think about games, like think about like a Fortnite or something. Like when you buy, I don't know if you've ever played the Sims or something where you'd buy something and you'd get the token from, from, yes. that's a net, it's and really, that buys, that's yeah, technically, that's essentially what it is. It's Yeah, essentially yeah, 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 an yeah, NFT. Yeah. So yeah. even like, like when people, like what you said was, oh, people, oh, you, you can't touch it. It's not real. Yeah. What I truly believe is, which I could be wrong, but we're going to put it here on record and we'll, we'll go back to it in 20 years, is like in 20 years time, we're going to be living in, in this world where really these NFTs that we buy, like, for example, you buy a piece of art, you're going to put it up on your wall. Yeah. Really, that's how I kind well, of people have it on a screen instead yeah. of like a yeah yeah, yeah like yeah. or just be whatever whatever yeah. we're living in. I don't know. Yeah. So they'll have a, like a like a like a screen built into their wall that yeah. will play the yeah. artwork being yeah hundred percent yeah. So it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting, and I I think you should just just dive go yeah. just yeah. just go like you're in a perfect position yeah. Like, well, because I got the platform. Yeah, I kind of wish I was to- you. Yeah. I kind of do. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to like, I'll yeah, just yeah. paint it and yeah. give it to you. And you'll be like, that's yeah, mine. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, honestly, if you do this, I'm going to be, I'll, I'll, I'm going to I'm gonna buy, I'm going to buy your first drop. I'm going to be there bidding. I'm going to try and buy your first. You've got to right, do it. I want to see you there. I promise you. I no. promise you. I promise you I'm going to be there bidding. We have to put in a, a, like, okay, now that you said that, you have to tell me what you're thinking. Because I've obviously given you one that I am going to paint, which I've already designed so i'm going to start next week um but if you you got to tell me a few other things that you like well i think i I think i I think it's like i look at like let's let's just use lush we'll use lush sucks now what he's doing he's obviously just doing meme art and you know he's using the nft space to you know to 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 blow that up in what you told me yeah did we say it on air i don't know we we didn't yeah we didn't we got to think about the demographic of who is buying these NFTs, and that's why I would go down Definitely. that path. Definitely, yeah. So. And I think that is insane. If yeah. you go down that path, yeah, I think you will explode. You've got the platform. Like last shucks in the last couple of weeks, he's been blown up by Joe Rogan. Uh, the biggest, yeah, crypt- I saw that. yeah, the biggest crypto people in the world are literally like people is losing it over him. Like he is exploding, and yeah. all he did was six months ago, like, someone just kind of brought it to his attention, and now it's so he did it six months ago. Yeah, yeah. so he, I know it's been around. He got the cogs while. turning. Yeah. yeah, he got the cogs turning six yeah. months ago. He did his first drop in Jan. Yeah. So it's you're still so early. Yeah, yeah. But it's, everyone's like, get you need like it needs to get be. into it. Like, yeah. like, like, study it. Look into it. Yeah. There's, uh, there's a pla- There's, there's uh, the there's a podcast on YouTube called I'm gonna. Uh, Origin stories. Okay. Origin stories. And it's literally some guy that interviews pretty much all the biggest NFT people at the moment. Yeah. So that's, that's so I've, cool. I've been watching a lot of the time. I feel like under- I might have watched. Or, yeah, you you yeah. got to get into it yeah, if you haven't. I've been like just going through YouTube and just like trying to listen while I'm painting and whatnot just to educate you gotta listen. myself. <laughs> yeah. Just like, this is a lot. Like, it's, it's way too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. And that's why like, when, it, when it first sort of, obviously it's been out for a while. And when, you know, everyone's learning about it in the last sort of couple of months. I was like, okay, this is this is a lot. So I'm just trying to like break it down and just figure out the yeah. So and that's why now I've started. I'm like, okay, I think I understand it. So now I'm gonna like figure out what, how I'm gonna yeah. Like, it's hard. Yeah, like yeah. I, it, it's extremely hard. Like even like this is Web 3.0 in a sense. This is oh. this is like the next evolution and crazy. Like, I, I I like we're we're so into our tech yeah. that like, and we're still like. Looking at this, like, what does any of this yeah, shit yeah, mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, and that's what I mean. Like, if you didn't even have an insight into crypto, you'd be like, huh? Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. Non- it's a scam. Non-fungible like, yeah. tokens. <laughs> like, so, but I mean, everyone who says it's like a scam, what do you got to lose? Like, Nothing. what have you actually got to lose? Nothing. Like, with these things, everyone's like, oh, but, but, but. And I'm like, just do it. Just like, do it's it. exciting. Yeah. Like, don't be one of those people. Like, it, you know, I told my friends, like, get into crypto because, like, my boyfriend told me to get into it. And I was like, yeah, okay. Like, no one else listened to him. Now I'm like, ha ha. Yeah. Like, like, oh, oh, why didn't you tell me? I'm like, I did that tell did, you. Yeah. Like, it's, you know, you know. I wish I got oh, into it like 15 years zero. ago. 
cool, bro. Like, it could be zero tomorrow. Yeah. Like, I, you know, it's just, yeah. But the way so, it's going, like, it's, but everything's just a fight. It's like, even, and Gary V talks about this the same when the internet. How good's Gary? He's the best. He's my he's favorite. The best. Like, it's actually like a, like a set goal of mine, like, that <laughs> I said this, like, we started this podcast because, like, he's the guy that I want to get. You get, he yeah. says yes. He's a yes man. Yeah. Just like, ask him. Yeah. Just ask. You reckon just ask? Yeah. All right. Just send him a message. Say, oh, just hey, send bro, him a message. Right. Oh, I'm going to do that. Seriously. So, all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to hold you there. When I get him on, I'm going to shout out you Danielle will, Weber. You will get Gary Vee on. Okay. Well, 100%. Oh, we're going to try that. Yeah. All right. But Definitely. it's like, but he's just. Just like, putting it out into the universe. Yeah. You, know, you can manifest that. We're putting it out there. Gary Vee. He's coming. I will be like, yeah, yeah. it was me. <laughs> yeah. So, and say hi from me when you get there. Yeah. <laughs> I'd I probably just start a podcast just to interview yeah. him. Like, I will, you know what? I, I don't get stage fright, especially like famous people that don't really, but I reckon I'd be like, uh, yeah. uh, uh, like I just have too much I wanted to ask him I just wouldn't be able to ask There's him there's way too much like yeah. he's he's just a, he's just a genius and he's always he's always ahead of the curve he's always on he, absolutely his brain everything is nuts I don't know how he man I don't know mm-hmm. I, I generally don't understand like yeah. even even now like it's 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 really funny that I just like now Gary Vee's like turning into like an artist and I'm just like he just anything he touches yeah just, yeah <laughs> yeah he good. could be like oh I'm gonna be a soccer player tomorrow like, yeah. I just saw the soccer ball there so I was like you know it's right. everyone be like, yeah, Gary. Like, <laughs> pretty much. Especially as an Aussie, like his name Gary. Like, yeah. like Gaz, Gaz. I painted a koala and I called him Gaz. Yeah. Shit, sorry, Gaz. Far out. Yeah, no, it's true. He's, though. he's a, like he's a he's a genius. And that's why, like, I'd hate to be inside his brain, but I'd love it. But I'd yeah, hate it. no, he'd just go. He'd nuts. be like ten times. Yeah, yeah, whatever millions. He'd just be yeah. flying. Like he'd be just going on. Like. But he's just, no he's bullshit. mental. No he bullshit. is, he's, he's my favorite. And like, mm. you look at, you just look at him, like even what he was saying, like everyone was shitting on the internet like 20 years ago. He yeah. Did, I don't know, he did some conference or something and like, he said, oh, the internet's going to be a thing 20 years ago. And everyone like laughed him out, like literally laughed him yeah. out. And it's yeah. the same thing that's going on. I think now, and this year, the NFT, well, because things have been selling for millions, like people aren't looking at it like, oh shit. I think it's just more of a, it's more of a thing now, like, people just don't know what to do, where to start. That's, and that's the thing. I, I, I don't think people are as, as skeptical because they've seen what's happened yeah. with technology and they've seen it evolve. I literally just think they put it in the too hard basket. So, and, and, and that's where you either, you, you excel or you don't. So, and I looked at it, I was like, oh my God, like I do yeah, not need crazy. this on my plate, but I'm yeah. like, nah, I'm doing this. Like it's <laughs> do definitely it. very hard, but it puts people off because it is very, there's layers to it. And there's Bloody obviously, oath. yeah. And I think yeah. like even, I was, I was just touching, I was touching on before as well. Like people just got married on a block. Like, that's so crazy. they, they nuts. Yeah, they got married. So they signed a form and chucked it up on the blockchain. And like now that's just becoming that's a thing. so cool. Though. Yeah, like things that things are just selling. Like even I see there's uh, I'd see like houses. You know they they're gonna be sold off as like NFTs and like putting it all on contracts. Yeah. And, and I don't know. It's just it is so it's another exciting. World. It is just yeah. It is another world. And and that's the thing though. Like twenty years ago, people would be like, obviously, internet things another world. <laughs> You know, just don't be one of those and be like, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Yeah. Like, it's, you know, and I'm sure we all have those moments. So. Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's, yeah. So, so when, when's your drop? Yeah. When's my, do you know what? I'm hoping next week, but yeah. somebody decided to, like, remove themselves yeah. as admin on Facebook. And I was like, that's a great time to do this. I was just about to drop NFTs. Yeah. Why did you have to go and F this up? Yeah. So, so, and like, good, good luck trying to contact Facebook because yeah, they nah, don't have nah. thanks, but no thanks. Nah. Like, you can't contact them. Yeah. Or they replied to me, oh, it doesn't look like your account's being compromised. Get another admin to add you but, back in. I'm like, I have I, no admin. But how did they get I rid was, of you? I don't know. Are you sure you don't have some other account that kind of like logged in? No. We gotta go hunting. We gotta we gotta mm, fucking swing. Shit, yeah. Because what you what, if you post on Instagram, then you can connect, but it's not the same. It's like connected. Need, yeah. So I, I can still post on it, but it's not the. But I can't like open my ad account or anything. Yeah. It's just like just shit. Gone. We got drama. Yeah. We got big it's drama. Fun, though. Yeah. <laughs> It's we'll get not. there. Shattered, we'll get there. But like, what are you yeah. gonna do? Cry like it's yeah. laugh. But yeah, my drop would have been like yeah. probably yesterday. <laughs> but here I am, just like spending ten hours a day trying to figure out my yeah. little mess that I've created. Oh, but yeah, just start a new Facebook. No worries. <laughs> Can't do that. No. No. But I will I not. We'll I will not succumb we'll to. We'll give you. We'll give you three, four months. To then. the easy. Come on, three, four months. Give me, uh, give me two months. Two months. Yeah. All right, done. 
Yeah. I'll be uh, two but months. But do you reckon I should like have all my ducks in a like in a row and then like drop, 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 or just like drop them? <laughs> or I <laughs> drop, think, drop, drop, drop. <laughs> yeah, I think like I look at I, I look at the way Lush has done it. So yeah, and you know much about Lush. How, how many drops is, he, is is his fifth drop since Jen? Yeah, about five. So he's drops. sort of staggered it. Yeah, so well, he's he's gone five. Yeah, five drops since Jan. He went bang his first one, and then like I feel like now it's just been bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Like I think the first one took about a month, so I think he just kind of dropped it to test. Yeah. And now he's just shooting. So maybe I'll do that. Drop yeah. one to test, and then yeah, see drop what it happens. to test, see what happens. Like even um, what some like even what some people what some people are doing like they're creating like their own like social tokens. So what you can do is like you can create like your own token. And then, for example, people will buy into them and you'll give them like a special thing. So you might create a special Telegram group mm. and for 50 tokens, you'll, you'll be able to join my private Telegram group and then you have, oh, yeah. and then you can kind of conversate with them. So, so that's what people do that now. They're like starting their own. Yeah. yeah, yeah and then, yeah. and then the, the coins, as you get bigger and you do your NFT drops. So like if someone buys your NFT, you might give a certain amount or they'll obviously pay a certain amount of tokens to buy it. And then from there, like, yeah, you can, you're just cr- kind of creating this massive community that so cool. that's kind of stuck in Danielle Weber's world. It's so crazy. And it's, yeah, it's it's nuts. I think the next couple of years, especially for personal brand, you've got a crazy personal brand. Yeah. So, like, I think, like, yeah, you, you're in a per, you're in a really good position. Yeah. So just go hard, man. Go, St- hard, go look into. Me. I'll send you a few things to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send you yeah. a few things to read that you can get some ideas on. Yeah. And... I don't know. So exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, yeah. No, nah, I'll, I'll keep you posted yeah. on that. It's definitely like sooner rather than later. Good, I'm good. Doing, yeah. I, as soon as it's done, you got to send it because I'm want i going to start bidding. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because in five years' time, that thing's going to be worth a billion dollars. Oh, I'll be And I'm retiring so with for you. For your sake. Yeah. Far out. Or for all of our sakes. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Mate, you're going to be winning here. Yeah. Well, but- yeah, true. <laughs> Sell it like the next year. 20, yeah. 20%, 20%, 20%. Yeah. 20%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Christian. You've yeah. made enough money yeah. here. Just sell it. Sell it. Need another cut. Yeah. You're going to be driving oh around in the green Lambo. like Yeah, don't worry about my little, little car yeah. out there. I do need a new car though. So That's right. Do you MT drop your bowling? Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, true, true that. Yeah. And I think your concept is crazy. Yeah, it, it, it honestly, generally is extremely good. I like it. Yeah. So go. Yeah. I'll um. Yeah, I'll let you do. How the much? Others. I'm just trying to give you so much like confidence and like. Do it. Yeah, do, do it. it. Yeah. Okay. No. Now that I know that, like, because you know, you tell people like, oh yeah, but like you're actually interested in it. I'll keep you posted. Yeah. Because yeah. like, I'm generally keen. Like, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, what's going on in your head? Like, Mate, I'm, I'm yeah. genuine. Like, this yeah. is it's mental and. You touched on something before, like being a business owner and an artist is like two different things and yeah. some people can't get their heads around it. Like what's, I don't know, like what's, what, what have you found that's like, what's difficult and like, you know, what, what does it make it like, what is it, what's hard? Like what's, what, what, switching those hats and yeah. things like that. Yeah, that, that's, that's super hard. That's something I haven't really figured out how to make any easier. Um, I think... Yeah, like it's it, it is like I don't know brains very well, but yeah, I'll be like on business calls and then have to do a design. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, like how do and I? Your head's cluttered. Yeah, 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 your head's cluttered. So I guess yeah, figuring out what go for a walk. Like if you realize that you're like actually not getting anywhere, sometimes it's better just giving yourself a break and then getting back to it because otherwise you spend that four hours trying to do something. Whereas you're like, could have just taken a ten minute break. And yeah, been better off. So yeah, but switching between the two like. Yeah, so I'll, I'll try to like, you know, um, schedule meetings for like all in one day. Or so like, it's kind of just like one whole yes, day of business. one whole woman, day. Because like, like, if, yeah. if I know, like if I go into my studio and I know that I have like a meeting or I have to make calls, I just won't paint. I'll be like, I have to do this, I have to do this. And I'll be painting and I'm just not there. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So now I'm like, okay, you, you, like I schedule my things, clump them together. So then I just have like a free day to paint or like a free night. Generally, like I paint better on the weekends or at night because you don't have people calling you and things popping up and as you said like what what shit storm have I got to deal yeah. with now and stuff so yeah so trying to just like bal- like 
ba- comes back to balance, like balance that yeah. out and shove them all the things in the same category together to just sort of categorize my brain as well. Yeah, because yeah. it'd, be, it'd be hard as a creative, like literally, like you need to be in there and then like when you're getting distracted or thinking about something yeah. that's complete, like business yeah. that yeah. that's it, that's boring you, it could literally affect what it, you're doing yeah. and it's it's the same thing. So, you know what, good on you and you'll find yeah. that. You'll find as you just keep moving and grooving. Yeah. You, we're still young. We're still uh, just learning. Like... <laughs> Just yeah, it's just one of those. Hopefully, things. after your so fifth and a tea learn. drop, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be retiring anyway. So, uh, be- <laughs> can you imagine if someone's like you're retiring tomorrow? I would not yeah. know what to do with yeah, myself. Literally. I reckon I'm gonna work until like if yeah. you know, touch with if I live until yeah. whatever. But um, if I don't drive myself nuts before then, but yeah. I just reckon I'll just keep working, working, working. Nah, it's just like one of those things. I agree. But, yeah, it's I agree. um, it's yeah, crazy, yeah. crazy world. <laughs> and- What's Crazy what's your favourite piece that you've ever done and why? Um, oh, you know that's so hard. Everyone always asks that. A mural, I'd say the piece of the rock that I did, the big mural of him. Um, obviously the meaning behind it and him and what he's wisdom he's, I guess, gifted me. Like you know, um, it's priceless. So I guess the meaning and the story behind that. That's why that's my favourite. But then there's a piece of me and my brother that I did when we were little, and I've got it tattooed on the back of my arm. That's a canvas that I did. Not my greatest piece, but it's like, yeah, it's just a Wait, is beautiful, it on your, is it, just like on the back of my arm. Oh, wow. Crazy. Like, we're like cuddling. Yeah, crazy. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So that, that, but that's, I have so many favorite pieces for like different reasons. So, yeah. I couldn't even, there's so many. Yeah. So and some of like the ones that I don't like to, you'd be happy to know. And my favorite pieces, maybe for another reason. <laughs> it's like, okay, that, that led me to do that yeah. and whatnot. So, okay. Yeah. So that, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So they all like, sometimes you've gone down there and then it's led you down a path. So that's why you love it. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's extremely interesting. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of behind meaning to, to certain things, which is crazy. And yeah. where is Danielle? In 10, 15 years, like what, what's, 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 what's your future looking like? What's coming? Like, what are we doing? Yeah. We're doing an NFC drop, obviously. I just want to settle and have kids <laughs> yeah. in like next year. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, nah, um, nothing wrong with that. I'm just yeah. <laughs> Not me anytime soon though. <laughs> I'm like, shit, I'm going to get in trouble yeah. now. <laughs> um, no, uh, I obviously during COVID saw that it was like a big, gap um and need for education i feel like a lot of people like yeah as you said like let's start art like let's learn this and and i try to reply to everyone but obviously and try to help everyone but obviously that's getting harder and harder because i'm like i need to i can only do so much so education so i'm working on an online course you know shove that on the plate as well oh wow good (laughs) on you that's extremely Um, cool yeah so obviously you know i've got my ducks in a row but i just have to break it all down um it'll be two part modules um basically everything all the ins and outs for canvas work mindset um in the first five and then we go into murals in the next five so you can choose to do all of it or you can choose to do it in parts that's crazy Um, and then you can just keep adding things to the course and growing it yeah and included in that like it would be one one on one um and then you have a facebook community that everyone asks questions and talk about it and whatnot so yeah so that's i saw that need and obviously time is just my thing and i like to do things well so i don't like to put shit out in bloody into the yeah. universe so i would just prefer everyone's like come on come on i'm like you know what if it takes me an extra year no nah, just you'll get there yeah i'll get there so i know you know this will be like spreadsheets that everything that i take to murals like yeah. it took me 10 years to figure out yeah, bloody what oh. to do if i had a freaking sped- spreadsheet to be like tick 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 100 percent. could you imagine like wow. <laughs> so just a few maybe a few little shortcuts that will help people along the way that i did not have access to so that's that's actually really cool I yeah think, yeah that's really smart really cool i yeah. really like that yeah and so i that's exciting. wish you like crazy luck on that thank like, you and then when you like nail nfts you're gonna add the nfts to the yeah. uh, the nft <laughs> well, that, spreadsheet i think pri- i've You'd be proud yeah. to know I've prioritized the NFTs yeah. over that. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, but again, yeah, everything's just like, yeah, uh, as I think of it, I do it and, you know, just sort of ride that wave. And I'm like, I'm probably doing too much one thing at a time. I'm like, nah, fuck it, just nah, do it all at once. Go hard, go <laughs> excuse hard. My, excuse my language. Yeah. I've been an actual potty mouth in yeah. this. Far out. Sorry. Sorry no, to honestly, those it's watching. All right. Just go hard. Like. Um, <laughs> yeah, so education, I think, and, and continuing to inspire people to, you know, pursue paths that, um, 
yeah, like I guess gives them purpose and, and, you know, is their passion rather than ending up in jobs. Like we're in the 21st century. Are we in the 21st century? Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, we, you know, back in the day it was harder. To, you didn't have those opportunities. Whereas now, yeah. like, is it people are like, oh, I'm just scared it won't work. I'm like, just do it. If Fuck you want to do it, just freaking do like, it. You know, like, you'll make it work if you want it. Yeah, and yeah. we've got, you know, like back in the day, like you didn't have um, – Centrelink if COVID happens. Like, we've got support. We've got access to everything. We live in such a good country. So... Literally. It's, you know, obviously don't put, make yourself homeless by doing these <laughs> things. Like, you, you you need to be within reason. But, yeah, just inspiring people to end up in to do things. Like, don't live a whole life and doing something you hate. Like, it's really... You know, um, we live in a country where we shouldn't be doing that anymore. So Bloody oath. And you- not saying the business isn't easy. Like, it's it's not easy. But, yeah, so that in turn. So, just education and obviously bigger and better murals. I don't really want to be hanging off buildings when I'm 80 years old. So, <laughs> that perhaps has an expiry date. Yeah. I don't know when. Get a mural now. No. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so just education. Just in. Yeah. Good on you, man. Yeah. Like, that's, that's mental. I think, um, yeah, you've got some exciting years ahead and – Mate, like you just gotta, you gotta get going. You gotta just keep, just, buddy. Just, just keep, keep painting. Yeah, whip them out, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Just keep painting. But yeah, Danielle, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on today. Like good chats. Yeah, I think this. Great chat. Yeah, this was this was decent. Like, I think we went we went a bit and we covered a lot. And I think you gave a lot of value. So thank you I so hope much. So. <laughs> no, you did. You're amazing. Yeah. So thank you. Thank and you yeah, for having me. Appreciate yeah, well, uh, in Appreciate- a couple. Of- Appreciate yeah, it. I reckon six months a year when you're uh, when you're when you're flying, we'll get you back on. We can talk about everything that you've uh, NFTs. Yes, <laughs> yeah, NFTs. And early. you can show yours. That yes, one. this one I bought, and now it's worth this much. Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> How good.